So what we have here is the same tub grinder rotor we had in a little while ago. We were stuck waiting on parts for a long time, so it just got kind of put on the back burner until everything was actually here so we can get the job done. Starting over at this end, basically the issue we had with this part is when you weld up stub ends like that, they're always going to warp slightly. It's, it doesn't take much, but if you have 10, 5, 10 thou run out on the bearing journals of this, that's enough that can throw out a balance. So these really need to be perfect if you're going to try fixing one of these. And that's part of the reason why we're actually seeing this one after another shop had done it, as there was 15 thou run out in one of the stub ends. So basically, we started off with setting this thing up in the lathe, basically as you see it, dialing it in, and cutting these reference surfaces here and here. Then, once we had those, we, we know we can get the rotor set back up, running true in the lathe. Then we went and cut down the stub ends, roughing out to, to clean bare metal past the old weld repair, welded everything up. Now we got it set back up in the lathe. Currently, we are just starting on the first stub end, so we have a four jaw chuck on this side. Dialed it in, this is running dead true. Over on this side, we have a four jaw tailstock chuck, it's dialed in running dead true. And as you see here, we have roughed a steady band. Next step is I'm going to pull the saddle out of the way, set up the steady rest on there. Again, this running dead true. Pull off the four jaw tailstock chuck. And then we can go in and recut the center hole in the end of the shaft. Then we can take off the steady rest, switch to a live center, and then turn the stub end as normal. All of this messing around and extra setup is because the shaft warped just enough that the center hole is not in the center of the part. It's a pain in the ass, but this is, this is what you have to do if you want this to be fixed properly. A lot of shops would just say, yeah, that's close enough, stuff a live center in the end, and then... You're going to be back to square one again before very long. That's um, that's pretty well it. I'll uh, post another update when we get this over to the milling machine to start cutting keyways.